Welcome back to Studio Chatter. The neighbor kids, sometimes a blessing, sometimes <laughs> not. <laughs> oh, this can be a doozy. Oh, it can, definitely. So pray tell. Yeah, yeah the, the summertime is here, so Amen. we know what that means. The kids kind of roaming around the hood, borrowing <laughs> the looking for a house that's open, <laughs> looking for somewhere to settle. Somebody's trampoline to jump on. And somebody's food to eat. To eat. <laughs> yeah, but she said no. I'm not yes. it's so true. So what do you do? Like, yeah. how do you manage this? How do you? What do you do? I think open communication with the other parent, if possible, to just say, Hey, say I just kind of want. Uh, even <laughs> yeah, I, just go back. I would never say it, so right. I'm not going to tell you what to do. No, but really, would you do that? Would no. you go to a parent? <laughs> I no. mean, seriously, and say, Your kids are in my house for six <laughs> hours. Do you think we negotiate this? <laughs> okay, so, so really, so I've heard of. Um, <laughs> Co-oping, so there's there's parent right. co-oping. So there's an actual agreement where you say, okay, right. so I take your kids for six hours, Absolutely. and then you but you owe me six hours, right? right. right. Okay, we've done so, that before. okay, so that's, that's, well. that's okay. So that's that works well sometimes during the school that's year. That's planned. That's planned. Even if it's in the summer, that is a planned thing, mm -hmm. right? But when your kid comes to my house and then it's like two hours later, I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Well, you better go home. <laughs> and I'm trying to make food for my family. I mean, the only thing you do is make the so food. So this is new territory for me. Yeah. I, right. I didn't grow up in a neighborhood. A. I just didn't right. grow up in a neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. That's right. So that's, that's new. And then my kids are really just kind of approaching the age where this is also new. Mm -hmm. Like, they're just kind of to the age where they're starting to do the whole, hey, I'm going to ride my bike to here and I'm going to yeah. do this. And, and I'm kind of... So how long is too long? Yes. Is yeah. for you know, is forty five minutes cool? Is an hour okay? Is an hour and a half like is two hours overstaying your welcome? I think it's age appropriate for a five year old. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two hours should oh, be long. Long. enough. It's long. Yeah. But for you know, late elementary and teens, they can really spend all day. Oh, but okay. I think it needs to be give and take, like okay. hey, spend some time over at the Johnsons, yeah. and then you guys can come back to our house. But yeah. okay, yeah. so and, and I'm okay with independence, mm -hmm. and uh, and I'm a helicopter. I'm the, I'm like I'm like the Same mom here. that's yes. like like texting every thirty minutes. That's okay, are they, are they still there? Food? Yeah. yeah, are they still there? Yeah. What are they doing? That's better than the alternative, and have six yes. hours go by and. And there's a meal in between that. The parent sure. really hasn't right. checked in, okay. like yeah. at lunch or dinner. Exactly. That's, okay. I, I would say, viewers, Hello. check in. Yeah. Okay. Especially at a, yeah. a meal time, it's not the neighbor's responsibility to feed the kids. And in a way, I'm like, oh well, they must trust me really a lot, or not. Care. Right. So, so okay. Which one is it? So I guess it's that. When it gets to that, what do you do? Like, I'm still like, I'm not their mother. Right. Uh -huh. And I've already got enough. And if it's a dear friend and their children are mm -hmm. over, it, that's a but little different. But then it's planned. Again, exactly. it would be planned and you've got some kind of and understanding. And you know you're lunch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I know if, if it's a planned one and, you know, we mm -hmm. agreed on it on a particular day or something, I'm like, okay, that's yes. great. But if it's just anybody. I agree. Yeah, I'm I'm a nervous hen. You know, be I'm I'm nervous. Yeah. <laughs> I'm nervous oh, about I you know. Oh, I don't know I, if you, I, I dare let you jump on our trampoline because you're probably gonna break, break your neck, neck. Yeah. and I don't want you to jump. You know, I don't want to go on our bikes. Yeah. Oh, you know, I don't want you to go swimming. Right. I'm afraid you're gonna drown. I, I mean, I'm just scared of it. Yeah, I'm scared. I, I am. <laughs> <laughs> don't I, eat our food. You're gonna I choke. Always don't call. <laughs> Or well, sometimes another thing is if the kid's there for a long time, I'll call the parent and right. say, hey, should I send, I'll send your son over with my sons or are you going out? Right. You know, or something that's like that. That's a great approach. Yeah, hey, or I'm they're going ready out. to come over to your house, but I wanted to call and make sure, sure that's mm -hmm. okay. that it's yeah. okay. And then go tell the kids, clean up. You know, You're so, heading over yeah, to or off something like that. now. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm all about that too. So that, yeah. we all clean agree to clean up. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, no, no, no. You're not leaving this house. Get back in here. Clean up the... Legos. Mm -hmm. I'll stop them coming often because they got to clean up too. Okay. And yeah. don't walk in someone's house without ringing the bell. I bet a lot of parents don't even know that their kids do that unless it's reported. Mm. Right. So they okay. the children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jeez, we no. sound horrible. No, we don't. No, okay. no I, I think that, <laughs> well, it, it's no, good to know and, good. and what they, you know, what the expectations yeah. are with other mothers and barriers so and, you know, if you, and really you just don't know in today's day and age yeah. either if you, you know, who's we, wandering in, who's wandering busy. out. Yeah. When, right. exactly. Well, and then in, in our home, it's also my office. So mm -hmm. I really can't have wanderers coming in and out right. or ringing right. doorbells or screaming. I mean, it's kind of a different expectation. Yeah. So 
I'm kind of the, you, know, you can't really be doing that. Right. So I don't want to be that person either. I want to have a friendly atmosphere, but yeah. there really are kind of rules and expectations. It has so, to be. There are, you know, and I, I suppose I'm a little bit lenient, you know, don't mind it too much in the summer if people come around, but I usually don't send my kids out. I don't mind so much if kids do come for mm -hmm. a certain amount of time. And usually when I've had enough, I'm going out. Yeah. I do leave. I will, even if it's leave just down. Leave the kids out there? No, no. I'll oh. just say, hey, you got to go. We're leaving. Oh, mm -hmm. definitely. I will actually like leave and go to the park or something mm -hmm. or whatever. Well, and you yeah. don't have <laughs> older kids yet, but what will your rules? <laughs> that solves that, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Or what are Sorry. your rules about having friends over if you're not home? We don't. Oh, okay. no. no way. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Nope. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. That's yeah. how we work yeah. What about I... sleepovers? No, oh, we no. even go there? No, no. Yeah, yeah. Okay. you can go there. It's no. <laughs> Yeah. And my kids were kind of like in the middle of growing up and we had to make that shift Yeah, because it kind of became more prevalent. I think it's just a new day and age and you just yeah. can't anymore. Oh, you just, exactly. sadly, you just can't. Yeah, no. Well, it was really hard because they were having sleepovers and then my daughter and yeah. son told me how horrible I was for not doing it. And so oh. I let my daughter have like six of her friends sleep over. Uh -huh. They were probably 13 and they all snuck out. And it's like in December. Uh, woo! I'm like, yeah, never, never again. Never again, yeah. yeah. No, thank you. Hey, viewers, wow. we'd love to hear your opinion no on this too. That's right. Yes. Coming up next, what if you are the victim of abuse or violence? Where can you go to get some support? Don't go anywhere.